Are we all Oxford rejects? Yes. Just kidding, only some of us are. Hi, my name's Devin, I'm a fourth year medical student at Imperial College London. Today's video is going to be addressing some of the stereotypes and myths about Imperial College London. So before I get into the main crux of the video, just a little bit of background about Imperial College London. Imperial is a university located in central London in the United Kingdom. Imperial has many campuses dotted around central London and west London, with the main ones being in South Kensington and the main medical campus being in Hammersmith. There are also many other campuses that Imperial has and some of these include the Hammersmith campus, Chelsea Westminster, Royal Brompton and there's also a new one being built in White City that is currently under development. And as of the 2021 rankings, Imperial ranks 8th in the world and it's also quite unique because it's a STEM university and this means that it focuses on science, technology, engineering, medicine and also postgraduate business. So this video is going to be focused more about the myths and the stereotypes of Imperial College London rather than more about my experiences and what life is like at Imperial. If you guys want to see more about that, then make sure you let me know in the comments down below and maybe I'll make a video in the future. So the topics I'm going to go over today are as follows. Do we all have social lives? Male to female ratios? Are we all a bunch of snakes? Only rich people go to Imperial? Imperial is too expensive? Are we all nerds? Is there too much workload? And mental health support. I will put timestamps in the description below and also on the video there will be chapters so feel free to scrub along to the appropriate topic that you want to hear about. With that said let's jump straight into the video. So do Imperial students have social lives? The short answer is yes although I believe this is heavily dependent on the person themselves. Now you could be the guy that goes to the library and does all the work or you could be the guy that doesn't go to any lectures, doesn't do anything and then crams it right in the last second or you could be the guy that's in the middle who does an appropriate amount of work slowly over the, the whole year and then also has a lot of fun. So that's up to you and if you manage to get that work-life balance that can't be decided for you. So it's very very uh, dependent upon you as a person. Imperial boasts around 380 clubs, societies and projects and it's very important that you sign up to these because it's where you'll make most of your friends. So there's going to be loads of events going on, especially for the medics. And there's also loads of sports nights. You get Wednesday afternoons off as well. And that's, I think, course wide. So the next thing I'd like to address is the male to female ratios. So Imperial as a whole has a male to female ratio of 64 to 36. It varies highly depending on what course you go to. Something like engineering might be five to one or medicine is like 50-50 and then biology is a predominantly female, I think. So it really varies. If you look at the graph on screen now, you can see that there's a trend with females rising higher than the male intake. The gap is decreasing, but over time, we're all a bunch of snakes. I think we have an appropriate amount of snakes. It's not more or less than the average university. So I'd just like to pause for a second, give you guys the opportunity to drop a like if you guys are enjoying the video. It only takes about 3.7 seconds on average, but it really helps the channel out. So make sure you do that. Right, thank you. So the next thing is that only rich people go to Imperial. It is in fact true that Imperial South Kensington campus is located in one of the most expensive postcodes in the entire country. However, it's not true that only rich people go to Imperial. I know plenty of people from all different backgrounds that study here. Imperial has one of the most generous bursary schemes in the entire country. It offers up to £5,000 a year and obviously as this is the bursary, it's free money. So it goes into your bank account and you can do whatever you want with it, no questions asked. And it's based upon a sliding scale for home undergraduate students up to the household income of 60,000. And there's also scholarships provided, so make sure you check the website to see if you're eligible for those. And because you're living in London, Student Finance England also provides you with about 3,000 pounds extra, so I know you have to give this back, but for the people that want the financial support, it is there available. The next thing is Imperial is too expensive. This ties a little bit into the previous topic, and I do understand that London is very expensive, much more so than the rest of the country. Now, despite South Kensington being very expensive, Imperial does provide on-campus accommodation. There are three of those located. They offer prices starting at 150 a week for a shared room. Now, I get that 150 is still very expensive, but for South Kensington, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and if you can afford it, it's worth going and living there. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I was doing a bit of researching and it seems that the prices for twin rooms are actually a bit more expensive because of social distancing guidelines. So the cheapest available room is now actually £170 per week. But hopefully next year, which will be 2021 to 2022, the price will return back to normal for you guys. Now obviously if this is too much for you, Imperial does offer loads of other accommodation halls and some of them being located in North Acton or Paddington and there's loads more. They're definitely a lot cheaper so if you can't afford living in central London, there are different places that you can stay. Are we all nerds? We do have a lot of clever people but isn't that what you'd expect at a world class uh, institution? 
But I think there's definitely a variety of different types of people ranging from uh, all spectrums, just like you have at all universities. It's not that we're all a bunch of nerds, it's a stereotype that isn't true and I can tell you that for sure. Is there too much workload? I think this is a very course dependent thing and so I can only give a medic's perspective. Now I feel that the workload is decent but it is manageable. As long as you can delegate your time appropriately and manage that work life balance then you will definitely have a lot of fun at university. Personally I don't believe that there's too much workload but um, obviously everyone's viewpoint is different and everyone's breaking point is also different. So if you're struggling with the workload you need to make sure that you access uh, appropriate help sooner rather than later as it will hurt you in the long run. You should also know that the kind of institution Imperial is, you should expect a fairly decent workload compared to other universities. Make sure that you know this before you apply. The final thing I'd like to cover is mental health support. Now I know that this is a very very important topic and you guys have probably heard that Imperial doesn't have a very good record at managing student mental health. Unfortunately though, this is a very hard topic for me to address and I'm not in a position to be able to answer that. However, I know people that have needed help and Imperial does provide help to its students but these people feel that Imperial should have done more and something a bit sooner and therefore what I'd say is for you to actively seek help it won't be provided to you automatically and to end this on a good note no pun intended but Imperial is trying their very best and they are getting better so this brings the video to a close I hope you guys did find this information useful and it answered some of your burning questions that you may have had and hopefully this helps you decide whether you want to apply to Imperial or not if you have any other questions make sure you let me know in the comments down below and if you did enjoy the video make sure you drop a like and also comment that you like the video subscribe if you want more content like this and with that said i hope you guys have a good day i've been devify and i am out